Uh, we just uh, grouped up, kept our composure, and like we always say, one of our terms is stone face, you know, don't let, you know, the crowd or us turn the ball over, them score and get to us. So we just all got uh, grouped up and just got together and played as one. Again, questions for the players. We'll get to have a microphone here. They'll get it to you. Go to Adam in the back. Was anything different for you tonight, Keenan? Obviously, you, you went off and, and clearly took over the game late, but it seemed, especially early, you were especially more aggressive and, and got, got your teammates involved early. Uh, just just trying to be more aggressive. Um, you know, I watched me and Coach Beard watch tape on, you know, our losses against, like, Texas and Iowa State, and, you know, those are games I wasn't really being aggressive and not making plays, whether it were for me or my teammates. So just coming out, being aggressive is what I needed to do. Coach, could you talk about Keenan's overall production this season? I mean, he's obviously been fantastic. Yeah, Keenan Evans is one of the best players in college basketball. Um, to me, he doesn't get a lot of respect nationally and stuff. People are just starting to kind of get on the, the wagon. Uh, Fran Fischello has been great to Keenan. But, I, I mean, look, I've coached a lot of good players at all different levels, and Keenan's one of the best players I've ever coached. Uh, not only that, he's a great teammate. He's um, – Started playing for Hall of Fame coach and Coach Smith. And then when I came in, I really appreciate Keenan giving me the opportunity to coach him. Um, and then I think Keenan would be the first to tell you that his teammates are setting him up to have this kind of individual success this season. Got guys screening for him, guys passing for him, uh, guys getting his back when he makes a defensive mistake from time to time. Uh, so he's, got, he's playing on a great team. He's a great player. Any other questions for the players before we let them go? Yeah, for both players. Um, I'm sure you guys expected kind of a rough and tumble game. What's the difference in the way South Carolina plays D and the way you guys do? Um, we're both aggressive teams, so, you know, us going against each other in practice kind of prepared us for it. And also playing against teams like West Virginia got us ready for this type of game. So we knew we were getting into this type of game, so we're just trying to be strong and not turn over the ball as much as we did today, which wasn't good, and we're still going to you know, work on that. But we knew that it was going to be a hard-fought game. Same as Keenan said, they play aggressive defense in the passing lane, so it was kind of hard to make passes. Keenan, as much for, as much respect as as you guys may have for South Carolina coming in, how difficult is it to get ready for one of these kind of games in the middle of conference season when you're probably thinking a lot about the Big Twelve and and and, and that conference? Um, it wasn't too hard, especially for me. I we knew that, you know, early in the season we had this game. So all you got to do is say, you know, last year Final Four, and that'll get the guys ready. And, you know, with us, we don't, we don't overlook any games. Um, you know, it's always the next game on our schedule. So this is the next game, and, you know, we got ready for it. Go to Adam in the back. Z, there was a point in the second half, you guys were down a couple points. You missed back-to-back -back free throws. Crowd really got into it. Coach had a message for you there, and then for the team, and it seemed like you guys really came together. You don't have to share the message, but maybe what, what was it like in that moment when you guys were able to come together and finish? In that moment, he just said, keep our composure. We're still going to be in the game, the game not over. And we just kept our composure and just played what takes basketball to do, play. <laughs> I might have said a couple more things. <laughs> <laughs> Go to this gentleman here, second row on the, on the left. Uh, Keenan, uh, what kind of shift in momentum did you feel when – they missed the two free throws there um, that would have kind of extended their lead to, I think, three. You come back together and hit that three. Did you feel that that was almost kind of a turning point, just feel kind of the life sucked out of this arena a little bit at that point? Yeah. Um, you know, I think I had made a shot before that, and, you know, I started feeling like kind of getting a hot hand, and my teammates, they just kept finding me, coach, kept running plays for me. And, and I just feel like once that happened and I hit that shot, I'm like, okay, we're here. Like, you know, let's finish this game. This is what, you know, all the work we put in the summer and, you know, preseason, this is what this is what it's for.